beginning of June, the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season. And storm records bring to light a turbulent history of major storms here in southern New England. There was a major hurricane in, in 1938. Uh, there were other storms in, in 1944 and in 1954. And uh, those major hurricanes that hit this area really devastated um, the New Bedford and Providence areas. Devastating the port cities of New Bedford and Providence as ocean waters inundated both locations. Lawmakers passed legislation during the 1950s to curtail the flood threat during future coastal storms. John McPherson with the Army Corps of Engineers explains. Congress, uh, as part of the 1958 Flood Control Act, authorized construction of the, both the New Bedford and Fox Point hurricane barriers in Providence. Construction of the two barriers began during the early 1960s. They were completed by 1966 at the cost of 18.6 million dollars for the New Bedford barrier and 15 million dollars for the Fox Point barrier. This barrier is unique. Um, here we have sector gates that, that roll on wheels to close in the middle. Um, the gates at Fox Point are a little bit different. They're a tainter style gate uh, that normally are in the up position and rotate down to close. And the process to close the 20 foot tall gates really isn't that difficult. It takes roughly 12 minutes. For a typical storm, we'll, we, would, we would close both of them at the same time. The, the, the sector gates are, um, you know, they're, they're large structures. We, they're controlled by um, small motors and a reduction gear. Um, that's controlled by a, a, a variable frequency drive. So we can start them very slow, ramp up their speed, and then slow them down again to where they meet in the middle of the channel. When closed, McPherson explains the New Bedford barrier protects the harbor from filling up and flooding into low-lying areas. Additionally, he says, the Fox Point barrier works a bit differently and it starts with five large pumps. If we close the gates at, at Fox Point barrier, um, there's a, there's a, the Providence River accumulates water behind the gates when we close. So our pump station is, is, is what lifts that water and pumps it out into Narragansett Bay. These pumps require a significant amount of power. McPherson told us that lead time is critical. We have to notify and, um, and coordinate with the power company um, to, to send us the power and get our pump station aligned correctly. McPherson says they are ready for what this hurricane season may bring. All indications are that we're, uh, we're good to go for another hurricane season.